I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that came out tonight. I think it's very important that people still sort of feel that way towards each other. And especially show the love to my parents. So I think if you don't give yourself a round of applause for coming out. Thank you very much. And I would especially like to thank all the people that had to, uh, that came and worked in this room and spent a lot, a lot of time. Uh, I'd like to especially thank uh, Colleen for putting this thing together here, this show. And I'd also, I think there were some other people involved, maybe Carol and Rob, they were involved too. Thank you very much. Rob is over here working, Carol is down here socializing. So, nothing changes. So, the thing that I, you know, it really is important to me that everyone is here and enjoying themselves. Uh, thanks for my brother for getting this haul. Thanks for uh, the kids for behaving themselves. And I know I'll probably forget to thank someone, but uh, it's just been wonderful. My parents have always been wonderful to us. And this is something that, it started out as such a small idea and just snowballed into something that just became more and more and more. And, yes, because of Colleen. Colleen was like our general. We were the mere foot soldiers of her army. The things that we did and the long distance phone calls that we got late at night with her latest idea of how we could do this night. I guess I won't be getting those calls late at night anymore. But I'll have the memories of the night. Um, I know I might forget someone or someone to thank, but right now there's some uh, recognition awards for my parents that have been sent down from some of the higher ups in this country, albeit politicians. And I think I'll have my brother, Terry, present some of these. So if you can just hold on a bit longer, we'll get these formalities out of the way, then this becomes a legal event, thus a tax route. And here's Terry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Well, Mom and Dad, you're very well recognized by many people in this country. And uh, the first one to recognize you is uh, Mayor David Miller. And he sent you a lovely uh, congratulations on your 50th anniversary. Are we going to it over to him? So that's only the beginning. Uh, Jerry Phillips, the, uh, the MTP for their area, has also congratulated them on their 50th anniversary. So Robert, you want to bring that over to them also? But wait, wait, there's more. Um, and this is uh, a, uh, as, the Queen as, as the Queen's representative in Ontario, it's my pleasure to extend best wishes to Jimmy Nancy Woods on your golden wedding anniversary from James Bartleman, Lieutenant General. He doesn't have a province. So Jimmy Nancy Woods, another congratulations from Dalton McGinty on your 50th anniversary. But enough of these local uh, awards. Um, this is, uh, she's pleased to extend her warmest wishes to you on your golden wedding anniversary as the Queen's representative in Canada from the Governor-General, Mikhail Jean.
And last, but not least, Jimmy and Nancy Woods, it is a great pleasure to send you best wishes and warmest congratulations on the occasion of your 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, who's that, Chris? Uh... Looks like my friend Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper. There we go. Oh, wait, there's something else here. What's this here, I see? Is it from the Queen? No! No! It looks to me to be at Christmas time, wishing you happiness and cheer to last throughout the day and for the coming year. To Terry, David, uh, to Terry, Diane, and Bridget, happy Christmas. And it closes a message from, uh, and this is actually from Connor. Uh, it's from Connor, from uh, to Nancy and Jimmy. Happy 50th anniversary, Derek Warfield of the Wolf Tones. And we have a couple of uh, DVD, uh, CDs from them, and uh, that's the best of all. So, uh, Mom, Dad, enjoy your 50th. We'd be more than happy to do it for you, and all the best.